Hi everyone, it's me Tariq Bibi. Welcome to our Thrive Call. I'm really excited to be sharing today's call, which is all about uh, the clearing of negative entities, negative energies, clearing uh, energy vampires, people who just drain us, um, and any kind of other negative influence that we're aware of or that we're not aware of. So let's start it fresh without any of that stuff because it does tax our energy. It's uh, it's kind of like driving a car where the gas is like, you know, punctured and it's just dripping more gas than needed. One of the most valuable things we have is our energy, is our time, and we want to make sure that we have all that energy to do all the wonderful, great things that we want to do with our life. So, as always, uh, let's get started by getting into the center of our being. to your heart space and let's quietly set an intention for what it is we would like to co-create together today on the call So uh, there is a section, if you're online, where you get to send in a um, a question. So please feel free to use that if there's something specific that you wanted to uh, integrate into today's call, something specific relating to the topic. We'll see if we can do that uh, at the end of the call. Okay. So let's get started. Uh, I invite you to close your eyes. I invite you to take a deep breath. And release. Take another deep belly breath, breathing in all that love that is all around us. And release. Let's take another deep belly breath and release. Okay. And we're activating the infinity healing. We're activating the universal clearing profile. We're activating the in, infinite love transmission. So throughout the call today and encoded into the recording, whenever we're listening to it, we're just getting this beautiful cleansing, uplifting, energizing, rejuvenating uh, blast of energy, love transmissions from source. Okay. So, I'm just going to tune into the group for the next uh, 15 to 20 seconds, just see if anything specific comes up, and we'll go right into it. All right, let's connect to the light. So, today's theme is clearing energy vampires, clearing negative energies, entities. Um, If there's constant negative experiences uh, that we're attracting um, and anything else that falls under that, that umbrella, we're going to take care of it in today's call. So starting now, allowing our higher selves to integrate into this healing all that they know that is for our highest good. So if you want to give permission to your higher self to choose something specific, something specific to your needs and to do an infinity healing for that that's related to today's topic, if you'd like that, just say yes. Okay. 
And remember, as soon as you say yes, you're allowing all that source can do, source, God, universe, all that source can do to begin a process, and we'll continue to work on it for as long as it needs to until it's completely done doing everything that it knows to do that is for your highest good. Making sure our higher selves only receives that which is for our highest good and rejects anything that's not for our highest good. Okay. Let our higher selves bring forth all the perfect beings of love, of light, from the angelic kingdom, the Christ consciousness, Buddha consciousness, ascended masters. And remember, your higher self is choosing who to, who's best for you. But we're creating this sacred space. We're creating a like a bliss vortex, uh, connecting us from here to the core of the planet Earth, powerfully grounded to the Earth, and also connecting us to our highest selves, our infinite self. Okay, just breathe in the light from above. Pouring down into your crown, to your head, to your throat, shoulders, elbows, wrists, hands, fingers. Down your upper back. Spine, lower back, down into the heart space, power chakra, belly area, root chakra, going down into the hips. Thighs, knees, going down into the ankles, the feet, toes, and down into the core of Mother Earth, letting our higher self bring the energy from source and the energy from the core of Mother Earth and channel both energies into the core of our being as well activating our infinite loving energy and from the heart within our heart sacred heart space pouring out all three energies throughout our body raising our vibration higher and higher and higher right now and throughout the call. Spreading throughout our whole auric field. <clears throat> Spreading throughout the whole room that we're in. The whole city that we're in. The country that we're in the planet that we're in and even past the planet into the universe and past the universe into the infinite and from this expanded state we can move forward much more easier much more graceful Okay, so let's start allowing Source, God, Universe to connect to your being. If there's anything interfering with us being able to receive the maximum during today's call, would you like an infinity healing to clear that? If so, say yes. And for all future ones as well, I'm not going to keep repeating if you'd like it, say yes. Just say yes at the end of it. If you'd like to receive it. Okay. If 
there's anything interfering with you being able to release the maximum, if you'd like an infinity healing to clear that, say yes. Okay, so receiving the max, releasing the max. Sometimes the shadow self, um, sometimes there's the entities themselves, sometimes we're carrying on to spirits like our grandparents and whatnot. So also our mind, our fear, you know, a lot of things can get in the way. Would you like an infinity healing to make sure that any part of us that is interfering with the session, that we clear that? get that out of the way and we have our higher self powerfully clearly completely set them aside and also have the higher self show those parts of ourselves what's actually going on so that they understand from the highest perspective what is really going on if you like that say yes Would you like an infinity healing to be able to clear all less than love energies, entities, um, even some technologies, um, any damage, any curses, any uh, karma related to negative entities or, you know, heavier, denser energies and entities? past life stuff, ancestral stuff, childhood stuff, any agreements that we might have done that are actually at this point no longer for our highest good. Can we have an infinity healing? Would you like an infinity healing to clear that, delete that, transmute that? Right now, having source energy to everything it knows to do for you that is for your highest good related to what we're discussing. If you like that, say yes. Making sure we're surrounded in a very powerful healing, shielding color. Uh, the violet flame. However you visualize that. The violet color. All around you. Anything that is not for your highest good, anything that was manipulated, you were tricked into, coerced, um, while in the sleep state, would you like an infinity healing to have that brought back into the divine pl blueprint, to bring that back into something that is empowering, that is love-based, that is for your highest good? If you'd like that, say yes. Any fears that have been... Um, found their way into our being that now causes us to feel paralyzed when we want to move forward or afraid to do the things we're here to do, etc. Could we please have an infinity healing right now to transmute these fears, to let go of them, to see the truth of what they are. They're an illusion. <clears throat> And to replace them, yeah, with the truth. To replace them with the truth about the experience. I feel like that's a yes. Okay. Any bad luck, any curses, any uh, anywhere where we're giving our power away to something outside of ourselves, Anywhere we're attracting others that are jealous of us or try to keep us down or put us down or control us or manipulate us, any of that kind of stuff, would you like an infinity healing to once and for all clear that outside of your field, belief systems, emotions, clear it from the karma, and please source, download all the lessons we need to learn from these experiences into our being now so that we no longer need to play them out 
in our reality. Uh, one of the hardest things for a lot of us light workers, healers, or just good-hearted people in general, is uh, the inability to say no, <laughs> uh, to say no easily, to say no powerfully, and we also ch- we have challenges with boundaries. So anything that is interfering with you being able to stick up for yourself, to Say to speak your truth when you need to, and to be able to say no when you need to. If you'd like an infinity infinity healing for that, say yes. Such an empowering empowering feeling to have someone, whether they're purposely trying to take advantage or if they're subconsciously uh, taking advantage to just lovingly be able to, powerfully being able to say no without any excuse. Very empowering feeling. You don't need to give people a reason. You know, a lot of people in society, it's like those that manipulate and those that are manipulated. And uh, it's, you know, let's stop those silly games and just be our powerful selves and um, just uh, stand up for ourselves and feel free to say no whenever you want to. Uh, the most, the only person you need to honor is your heart space. And if your heart feels like it wants you to do something, that's it. If it says yes, we say yes. If it says no, we say no. Um, and then you leave it up to the other person to, you know, they 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 can deal with <laughs> how you said no. And you know, sometimes it shocks people. Sometimes uh, people get a little offended sometimes people will try to fight you because you're you're being uh strong with your no so well that's their stuff you know you just stick to the no if they ask why we can simply say i felt like you know it feels like uh it's not feeling right for me you know that's such a nice way of saying because then no one can argue with you uh no thank you uh feeling this is not for me <clears throat> moving on Okay. Uh, another thing with a lot of us is having boundaries and, or not having strong boundaries. So indirectly, subconsciously, energetically, it's almost like we, we're we inviting others to walk all over us, to take advantage of us, screw us over, um, and not honor our boundaries. So <clears throat> if you'd like an infinity healing for that, just say yes. The visual that I had for boundaries is, imagine you had a home and someone broke into the front door and maybe you robbed uh, the place. And ever since that experience, we've left the door broken so people now can come in and go out as they please so what we're doing now is we're setting a strong healthy boundary we decide who we let in we decide all of that and there is this energetic thing that people will feel that they have no choice but to respect it and if they don't respect it we can remind them that that's there and that that's our boundary and that we, we're we consciously or subconsciously telling others how to treat us. Not every, you know, people treat themselves very bad. Why would they treat you better than they treat themselves? You know, people lie to themselves. Why won't they lie to you? People treat themselves bad. How are they going to treat you with love and kindness? So let's make sure that we embody the person who respects or we respect ourselves so much love ourselves so much that we don't accept anything less you know what i mean so we're letting others around us know this is acceptable for me this is not acceptable for me 
anything in the way of that, if you'd like to clear that, just say yes. And just to download a very strong, this is the way, uh, this is the new me. Maybe we've, we've been so used to being treated lesser than that a part of us feels like, no, that's okay, you know, I've, I've had that a long time. But no, um, let's start New Year, New You. So the new way of doing things is complete self-respect. Anything less than that is not acceptable. And we're letting others know this is the way. This is what I need. You know, in a, in a relationship, in order for it to work, we our needs need to be met. If I can meet my partner's needs, my partner can meet my needs, it will work. So same thing with connections. This is my requirements. If you want to interact with me, you know, these are the basics. And um, sometimes we don't even need to say it to someone. It's just in our field. Just like in the past, there was something in our field that almost invited people to take advantage and manipulate, etc. So any karma, any fear, any belief systems, anything we saw mom do, dad do, ancestral stuff, past life stuff that is causing others to... Um, push our buttons, to not respect our boundaries, to not respect us, take advantage of us, lie to us, manipulate us. Would you like an infinity healing to once and for all transmute that out of our system and replace it with something that is for our highest good? Okay, if you like that, say yes. Now, a big part of the word trust came. So, a big part of why these things happen, we already have the guidance system inside of us that gives us a clear warning. And unfortunately, it's a very tough lesson when we ignore it. When we ignore it, bad things happen. If we're in a relationship or we're about to, you know, trust someone with a bus- with our business or trust someone with money, we can look back at our, at our lives and if there's a pattern there, then it's good for us to know that, hey, <coughs> excuse me, um, it's... <laughs> I just recently came back from a five-day trip to Jamaica and came back to Toronto, Canada, so the weather (laughs) is like complete opposites, so I caught a little cold, which is a great opportunity for me to get to recharge, so I apologize in advance for any coughing sounds. Okay, so... Yeah, we look back on our lives, we realize, hey, there's certain patterns here, you know, um, people did, you know, take advantage of me, money has been taken away from me, Um, this person did lie to me, this person did cheat for me, etc., or betrayed my trust, you know, that could be another pattern. Would you like an infinity healing to clear that once and for all? To download all the lessons needed to be learned from these experiences, once you learn the lesson, It stops playing itself out because you get it. To clear the karma. And uh, what causes karma, sometimes it's an emotion we're holding on to, a belief, whatever, etc. So, uh, belief, energy, emotion, fear. These things continuously attract certain situations. Uh, The purpose is for us to be able to release that fear, emotion, belief. But a lot of times when it does play out, instead of us releasing it, we um, make it even worse. An example would be, if I am holding on to a... uh, uh, If I'm not learning to trust my intuition and I keep going outside of myself, oh, can I trust you? Yeah, I think I can trust this person. Let's play the game of let me trust this person. Oh, they screwed me over too. Well... Uh, The universe is like, okay, you didn't go within this time. We're going to make sure you have another experience where you have to go within yourself. 
the universe is just trying to teach us. Go within yourself. Check in with yourself. Trust your intuition. So anything interfering with us being able to trust our intuition, to get into the habit of checking in, can we clear that and have that as our default? If you like that, say yes. This way, everything could look wonderful on paper, <clears throat> but if a subtle feeling inside of you does not feel at peace, that's the deciding factor. That's what we need to trust. So, would you like an infinity healing to have that amplified, magnified, really exaggerated to the point that you can't help but acknowledge it? <clears throat> if you'd like that, say yes. belly breath okay um, so sometimes it's not negative entities that are around us sometimes it's people that were relatives or ancestors and they're just kind of lingering around so if that's the case can we please have um, Archangel Michael Archangel Raphael other beings from the Archangel and Angelic Realm to surround these beings and entities and energies. And just, if it's for our highest good to send them into the light, if it's for their highest good, just guide them to surround them in a bubble, in a white bubble of, of light. And just to send them up into the light. A lot of us, we are like balls of light, and we do attract the moth. So, moth could be anything. It could be a person who's lacking energy. It could be a person who just wants to dump and vent. It could be someone who's manipulative. It could be some dark energy person. It could be an entity, etc. <clears throat> now, this is not to put fear. This is for us to become empowered. Um yeah, you know, the sun is not afraid of the clouds. You know, uh, when we remember who we really are, nothing, nothing scary. Uh, we are part of everything. Uh, we know who we are and who we're not. Uh, and um, we know the truth of who we are. We know how powerful we are. We know that we're connected and one with Source, God, Universe. So <clears throat> nothing for us to be afraid of. So, yeah, send them back. Okay. And if there are any cords that we're holding on to that are keeping us corded to beings, energies, entities that are not for our highest good, would you like an infinity healing to cut those cords? If so, just say yes. When we go to sleep at night, we want to make sure that we're fully getting recharged, rejuvenated, revitalized, re-energized, that we're reconnecting to our source, that we're reconnecting to our home, to our soul group, to our guides and angels, whatever it is, that are to our higher self. And we're allowing ourselves to heal, to process, to integrate. <clears throat> so, would you like to give your higher self permission to do that every single night 
when you're sleeping to get recharged, rejuvenated, revitalized, re-energized, realigned to process what needs to be processed, download what needs to be downloaded, integrate, let go of, to receive the guidance, insights, communication, etc. If you like that, just say yes. Basically, from now on, do you completely surrender your entire sleep experience to your higher self? Every night when you go to sleep, do you completely surrender that experience to your higher self? So just say yes. Allowing your higher self to make sure only that which is for your highest good will happen. Anything not for your highest good will just get uh, sent up into the light or released or transmuted, etc. automatically. Beautiful. Would you like an infinity home to make sure if there's anything in the bedroom, in the home, that is uh, less than love, that might be attracting less than love experiences and energies? <clears throat> Would you like an infinity healing to locate that and transmute it back into love? If so, just say yes. Yeah, just transmuting any um, any uh, openings into other uh, realms that are less than love, just sealing those. And just literally shielding the entire home, the entire bedroom, in the, turning it into the most sacred space, energetically, on all levels, just downloading into every part of it the highest frequency energy so that every part of the room, the house, apartment is transmitting high vibration, loving energies. Okay, and now with all this stuff, it's like if we only knew who we really are, nothing can make us afraid. Nothing can make us afraid. And um, we're not going to fall victim to any of these um, manipulations. So, <clears throat> would you like an infinity healing now to completely remember who you really are? If you like that, just say yes. Now, with being able to say no to others, with being able to have strong boundaries, there's almost this fear that we have that is where, like, our priorities are, are we want to be of service to others. We want to be liked by others. We want others to like us. And maybe we're, 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 we're a little afraid of, you know, upsetting someone or saying no to them or maybe having someone think, oh, this person, we're selfish, or anything like that. <clears throat> and to reach one of the lessons I had was, and I know it shouldn't be this or that, it, should, it could be both, but in the lesson that I learned from the universe, it was, do you prefer to be liked, but disrespected, or not necessarily liked, but at least respected. And my whole life, I thought, be a nice person and people will like you. And, yeah, they might like us, but that they don't necessarily will respect us. And then, at that point, I decided, wow, this thing keeps happening, let me try something different. <laughs> you know, in the movies, when they say, no more Mr. Nice Guy, so I was like, okay, no more Mr. Nice Guy. Um, and I went on, I went in the other, you know, other route, which to me, I was still, I was judging it like it was very, um, um, like, that's the 
bad side of us, then we shouldn't share that. But that's my own judgment of it. As soon as I release the judgment, it was just the part of me that was that was always there for me. That if I use that kind of energy, I get the message across easily. I don't have to keep repeating myself. And uh, the lesson that I learned was, okay, I'm fine with you guys not uh, liking me, but you know, there's certain rules, certain things that are acceptable and not acceptable, and this is how it's going to be from now on. And it was such an empowering feeling because I let go of this constant need to have everyone like me, and I was okay with the fact that they might not, and I was feeling great about the fact that, you know, I stepped into my power and I um, had the the respect um, that I felt was needed. So, would you like an infinity healing to be able to know when, or basically to have self-respect start within and have others mirror that back to you would you like that to know when okay to release any judgments towards that other side of us we all have many sides a lot of us society we were we're out there we like to show the the happy smiley side and there's also the other side that's a part of us we did a lot of this last call shadow shadow self so would you like an integration of that side of you and just to be able to lovingly, powerfully exercise your authority, your boundaries, and your power? If you'd like that, say yes. And just miraculously have others, you know, actually not test you or, you know, test your boundaries or, you know, fight against you, but just for once to just acknowledge it, to respect it, and to follow through on it easily. You know, for a lot of us, like, getting others to do things is such an effort, and the way we ask for it, we feel so guilty for asking, they start rebelling, there's all sorts of these things that start happening. So for us to be at peace with asking for things, having it come from the heart, and just having, you know, what we're asking for help with or our requests that they're being met with ease and grace. If you'd like that, say yes. Okay. Now, in terms of black magic, negative energies and entities, uh, for many of us, we've had many lifetimes. And so if there are any lifetimes where we were involved with that, would you like to clear the karma of that? To do uh, infinite self-forgiveness and forgiveness of others, if you'd like that, say us. So I forgive myself completely for anything that I might have done in the past. Okay, and in case it was the other way around that others have done that to us, can we forgive them completely and clear that out of our field? Learning all the lessons, clearing the karma. Okay. Um, two things. One is addictions. Two is... It'll come to me. So, a lot of us get into addictions for many reasons. Some of the reasons are we were feel we're feeling too much. We're really sensitive. We're really empathic, and we feel too much of other people's stuff, and it feels heavy, it feels dense, and we're just trying to not feel that and so alcohol cigarettes you know comfort foods all sorts of things can become a way for us to escape the feeling of being in this dense reality experiencing what the collectives are collective beings are going through 
Um, <clears throat> like planet Earth herself is going through a lot. Uh, our our body has gone through a lot. If you've experienced some trauma growing up, um, a, a whole bunch of things. So addictions become easy to fall for because it's a way of us for a brief moment to escape that. Uh, whether it's an addiction to making money or being loved or, um, you know, there's all sorts of things. So would you like an infinity healing to get to the bottom of that? Like what is the thing that we're trying to not feel? And can we either transmute it once and for all, if that's best, process it, release it, heal it, and have our default setting to always be doing the empowering thing. If we're going through something, we've picked up something from someone, to instantly have our higher self transmute it. Would you like that? Okay, having the angelic realm download into our being, if it's for our highest good, uh, especially if we're empaths, a type of cloak. A cloak that we can wrap around our being. That has its own consciousness, so when it's when it's needed to be activated, it will. When it's not, it doesn't. Um, it gets activated, let's say, when there's a lot of negative energies around us, so we're completely immune to that. Great. Okay. Now, an infinity healing for, like, you're feeling something. You're seeing it. You're knowing it. You're intuiting it. Intuitively knowing it. Um, that's a power. And it's there for a reason. So it's for, there. You can use it to save yourself from a lot of trouble. So would you like Infinity Healing to fully acknowledge the intuition, to follow through on it? And if you feel guided to share it with others, to do that as well. If you like that, say yes. Now, anywhere where we have uh, darkness within us that we have it integrated, and because we have it integrated that we're still judging it as a bad part of us, you know, when we're kids, there's good and bad. You do good, you go to heaven. You do bad, you go to hell. So that really kind of split us because, you know, we can have ups and downs. We get angry, we get upset, and then we're feeling happy, we're feeling good. So anywhere where from the inner child's perspective, it it, it, ta it was taught to separate anything that isn't, you know, quote-unquote, you know, godly or loving or good. Can we please uh, clear any of those limitations, religious, doctrine, belief systems, uh, cultural, parent stuff? Release anything that's disempowering, that's causing us to be uh, not whole and complete. And can we have infinity healing to fully integrate all parts of our being into one loving being, embracing our love and our other emotions? Because by uh, disassociating from it, by judging it, by saying that's not who I am, in a way we're giving it more and more power. Because uh, we're turning our back on it saying, no, that's, you know, I'm just an angel. I only do good. I'm only a positive, you know. Instead of saying, actually, you know, the right circumstances, anything can happen. And I've strapped at people before. And I've, you know, I've done some bad things as well as good things. So just to acknowledge it to integrate it because that way we're fully empowered and we can then decide to consciously do the things that in our heart we know are best for us as opposed to um, having that part of us kick in you know at certain times subconsciously and 
you know, explode on someone, for example, uh, instead of, you know, it's kind of like a blind spot, and it's like, oh, where did that come from? Well, it came from ignoring it for many years, so just to fully lovingly integrate it, release all judgment towards it, see see how we can use it to propel us forward in our life, etc. If you'd like that, say yes. Okay. Sometimes when we're in certain situations and we feel like something's not right, sometimes, or we want to say something, or someone's being mean, or someone's being manipulative, or someone's lying to us, etc., sometimes when we keep that to ourselves, it almost starts eating at us. And I know that there's an opportunity for us to say something, to do something that will end up making us feel empowered, that will make us feel like, oh, I'm glad I got that off my chest, I'm glad I did something, I'm glad I said something, and that's our power. And the reason we don't feel great when we don't express it is because we've suppressed it. So would you like an infinity healing to have your default to always be expressing when you feel it's best for you to say something, to do something, <laughs> excuse me, to uh, get it out, to, to do what we're feeling called to do, to say what we're feeling called to do. If you like that, say yes. And an example is like, you know, someone said something to you and you just kept it to yourself and then it bugs you the rest of the night. And then another example is someone says something to you and then you, not from a place of instant reaction, but, uh, okay, I'm going to say something. And you say it. And then you feel, you feel like, I, I didn't own that. I didn't let that person dump on me. I didn't, I said something. It's not my stuff. I feel at peace now. You spoke your truth. So if you'd like that to be your default, just say yes. Okay. Um, DNA. So, um, you know, we're constantly evolving, constantly changing. Our DNA could be used to really help us remember who we truly are activate our gifts, talents, and abilities. Anywhere where we're being we're blocking ourselves or we're being blocked from accessing our gifts, talents, and abilities, all the love that's available, all the support, being able to connect to our infinite selves, high realms. Anything interfering with that, would you like an infinity healing to clear it? Transmute it, download, and upgrade. If you like that, say yes. And just to really have our gifts, talents, and abilities really get magnified to get um, get the perfect opportunities to master them, to share them, to express them, to know them, to value them, to make the best use of them. If you'd like that, say yes. Anywhere where we have given power to something outside of ourselves, fear, um, you 
you know, you know how we say like don't if you see a black cat or don't go like superstition. Um, even even black magic itself, the truth is you have the power over it, and the only power it can have from you is the one that we willingly give away. So, would you like an infinity healing to feel so comfortable fully embodying and being in your infinite power and to take back any power we've given away to something outside of ourself to take it back? Beautiful. If in the future anyone tries to send like a negative intent, manipulation, um, any sort of lesson, love, things like that, would you like the universe to just bring it forth into the light immediately? And to have anything that is directed towards you that is lesson, love, instantly uh, transmuted? you like that, say yes. Any energies we're holding on to that are not ours, that are best to transmute, allow Source to transmute them now. Childhood, parents, ancestors, <coughs> the planets, collective. Past lives, inner child. Yeah. If you'd like to release that, just say yes. Okay. Um, getting like the heavy, dense emotions. So right now we're really, really kicked into full gear about raising our vibrations higher and higher. And the things that keep us at a lower vibration are things like guilt, uh, anger, blame, etc. Would you like an infinity healing for Source to locate any of these less than love emotions, energies, and the ones that you're ready to, just to completely transmute them and replace them with bliss? If you like that, say yes. Becoming a bliss magnet. <sighs> to just feel every morning waking up feeling so inspired, motivated, ignited, enlightened. To be the light, you know, to be that inspiration, motivation for others, for yourself. Alright, take a deep breath. Beautiful. And uh, again, if there's anything causing us to have less than love addictions, could we please have an infinity healing uh, to clear that right now? And just to have a positive thing that we can do that will help us feel better. We're really trying to just feel better. And sometimes we can feel better by working out, and that's like a long-term feeling better. We'll feel better for the whole rest of the time. Or we can go the easier route, eat a box of chocolates, feel better for five, ten minutes, and then feel really bad the next hours. So... Just to have a default setting to do all the things that make us feel better uh, in a healthy way. Beautiful. And just allow your being to surround your whole body with love, bliss, spreading into every cell in your body. Let it spread, fill your aura. 
and let it spread and fill the whole room that we're, that you're in, the whole city that you're in, the whole planet that we're in, raising our vibration higher and higher and higher, spreading throughout the whole universe, infinite, beautiful. Uh, we're de- integrating into this healing that this or something greater will happen and that more than what we know to ask for will happen. Please share this with our inner child, our parents, our ancestors, and our past lives. And we're setting the intention that the healing will continue with ease, with grace. Connect to your heart. Connect to all the beings that are assisting us. And just uh, say out loud or in your heart, Thank you, thank you, thank you. And so it is. I'm going to count to three. When you hear three, you'll completely emerge, feeling absolutely wonderful in every single way possible. Just bring back all your energy from all space, time, and dimensions now into the present moment. Ground it into the earth. Thank you, angels. Please do all final finishing touches. And whatever we started to work on today will continue to be worked on. Making sure all the energy is recorded, that they stay intact. And that any time in the future we want to listen to this, we can definitely uh, take things to the next level. Okay, one, two, and three. Whenever you're ready, open up your eyes. And take a deep breath. Take a big stretch. Wonderful. Please drink a lot of water. If you feel you need to have a bath, have a bath. And again, it's been such an honor and a pleasure to share this with you. Uh, please feel free to come back to this recording anytime you have anything relating to negative experiences with people, beings, energy vampires, entities, etc. Um, my intention is so that we have this as something we can go to for the rest of our lives if one of those things happen. And uh, I look forward to connecting with you next week. All right. Lots of love. Bye for now.